Hey you guys! Welcome to Magical Mac. Welcome to my Universal Studios and Disney World Fall Haul. Um, I thought it was about time to film this video because it's been over a month now since I've been back from my trip and now that we are in November I have switched over to all of my all of my Christmas celebrating so it's just funny that I got some fall items on this haul or on this trip and you can see in my background I'll lean over this way a little bit I do have a little bit of Christmas in there but I haven't pulled down all my decorations yet so um, that background will be coming soon for a couple of videos so anyway also it's been hard to film this video because of the time change and fall back and now when I get off work it's pretty much getting dark already so it's kind of hard to find time to film with this beautiful natural light shining into my room so let's go ahead and I'm so excited to show you my treasures that I got on my trip that was October 7th through the 13th at Universal Studios and Disney World so let the magic begin so the first items I'm going to show you are from Universal Studios it was my very first time to Universal and so everything about Universal Studios blew my mind like even like all their protocols with COVID and everything they were so on top of it and the thing I loved about Universal Studios compared to Disney is the virtual aspect of the rides you don't find that a lot at Disney so I just I loved like it was fun going somewhere where everything was a new experience so it was really fun to pick out my first time souvenirs from Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure and obviously the part of Universal Studios that scored extremely high was the Wizarding World of Harry Potter so I had to pick up lots of goodies around those two parks so I'm so excited and as you can see they come in the Harry Potter Harry Potter bags. Oh, I feel something. I hope something didn't break. Okay, so I'm just going to dig into this bag and the first thing I'll show you is the lanyard I picked out um, because my boyfriend and I, we both got season passes because we plan to return next year to Universal Studios sometime and they do their deal where you buy a year and you get three extra months tacked onto that. So it's a 15 month pass. And so of course you had to pick out a cute lanyard to wear with your, um, I guess some um, express pass and season pass. So for me, I had to choose the minions. I, the minions are so cute and it's just so, bright and cheerful and colorful and well, one of the reasons we went we were we scheduled our trip for October was for um, Halloween Horror Nights but obviously that was canceled so um, they did have two haunted, two, two haunted houses that they set up for the daytime um, and it was very interesting because everyone was behind plexiglass so they couldn't actually get right in your face which I loved because I'm not a horror person um, a, a horror person but my boyfriend is so he thought it was a little it's a little cheesy for his first time experiencing the haunted houses at Universal but we were very blessed to be able to go on this trip anyway so we're not complaining but I love the fact that all of the people working the haunted houses were behind plexiglass yes I was all about that <laughs> anyway so my lanyard I got the minions okay and of course you know when you go on these theme park trips the thing that I've loved collecting like when I go to the Disney parks um, are the Starbucks you are here mugs and I was always curious because I've never really seen anything about Starbucks having a you are here mug for Universal and they did so I was really happy to see that and so I got the big the big mug and I'll show y'all okay so it says it has well it has Universal City Walk Orlando and then it has Volcano Bay, Universal Studios, and Islands of Adventure 
so you can kind of see the different um, icons they have. The King Kong ride was amazing. I absolutely loved it. It was so fun. And then I think that roller coaster is that was that the Hulk? I definitely did not ride that. <laughs> um, and then so yeah, I, that was my first trip. So obviously I don't know a whole lot about all of these icons, but then you've got the entrance to Universal Studios right here. And Volcano Bay, I know is their water park. Then you've got the globe. And I don't rem I really don't remember what is that is that the mummy? No, that's well, I have no idea. I don't want to make things up. But anyway, and you can see it's the baby blue on the inside, but I was so excited to add this to my Starbucks collection. Okay, so I say a lot of the stuff I got um, was actually Christmas ornaments because they had a Christmas shop in each Universal Park. And so, of course, I had to go spend some time in there. But I, all these ornaments obviously are the ones that I fell in love with and thought they'd be a perfect addition to my Christmas collection. So I got the chocolate frog. I thought this ornament was so beautiful and so classy. So you got the chocolate frog on the top. And then when you move it over, you can see it just says chocolate frog, but it's just the gold against that blue is just absolutely gorgeous. The perfect, perfect combo together. The next ornament I picked out, of course, I had to get a minion because I chose the minion lanyard. And then the minion with a Christmas scarf on is so cute. I just love that so much. They had like six different different uh, minion ornaments to choose from they're all doing something different but this is the one that just that caught my eye so I had to get this one I believe the last ornament I thought this was simply beautiful and classy as well and it's a gold and red snowflake and it just says platform nine and three quarters and I just feel like these two coat gold and red together you I think that's like the most iconic I mean red and green obviously are the Christmas colors but red and gold is just there's just something so traditional and classy about red and gold together but you can see this little part here spins the nine and three quarters but oh I was showing you wow I was showing you the gold side this is the red and the gold side so you can see like depending on what mood you're in. If you want a little bit of red pizzazz in there, then you can sw switch it around. But Hogwarts Railways, just seeing, seeing the Hogwarts Express and being able to ride that was unreal, magical. Um, I guess I would describe it as any kind of, any Disney fanatic that's going and looking at the castle. Uh, whether if it's Cinderella Castle or Sleeping Beauty Castle, that's, I felt like it was just as magical to go to step into the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Just blew me away. No vlog I've ever watched did it has done it justice. And just, that's just how beautiful it is in person is what I'm trying to say. So, um, you definitely need to add that to your bucket list if you're a Harry Potter fanatic. Because I do like Harry Potter, but I'm not, I'm not a fanatic, but I do really enjoy the whole series. So, anyway, Hogwarts Express, and you've got Diagon Alley, and you have um, the other part <laughs> of Wizarding World of Harry Potter, and just sipping on the butterbeer. It was just... It was magical. I mean, that's what Harry Potter's all about, is magic, so. Okay, and I got a few other. I guess these are, oh, I got a keychain that represents all of the houses in Harry Potter. 
and I am a Hufflepuff. I found that out before going on the trip. I had to take the test and I am definitely a Hufflepuff. But instead of buying something that was just Hufflepuff, I just thought it would be neat to have this keychain that had all of the houses on it because that's, that's perfect to represent Harry Potter, the whole series. So you can see just love love how beautiful that is and then it was so fun to ride the et ride that's just one of those classics when you think of universal studios so i had to get this really cute et pin um yeah so and there's one part on et and i rode it twice rode the ride twice on different days or maybe three times i don't remember but I kept hearing E.T. saying, I don't know why I would hear this, but I kept hearing him say, go to Disney. <laughs> like, I could not hear anything else. Anyway, I thought that was very interesting. The, like, I wasn't like I was trying to hear those words, but, but it just that's just what it sounded like. At the end of the ride, there's a part where he's talking and saying, go to Disney. <laughs> Anyway, that's I know that's not what he's saying, but and then of course when I was there I had to pick up a chocolate frog. So I am sorry, I'm a little distracted because there's someone walking outside my window. They're walking their dog though. Hmm. Uh I had to pick up a chocolate frog. So I'm saving this to eat on Christmas to, or around the holidays. So I haven't opened it up yet. And then I also got these peppermint toads, so I guess it's the same kind of concept as the chocolate frog, but these taste like peppermint, so I real, I'm going to try one right now because I've been really wanting to try one, and let's see here. I just I love now that it's peppermint season. I love pumpkin spice season, but then I love pe peppermint season just the same. Okay, you can really smell the peppermint. You want to smell? <laughs> um, and this is what... This is so cute. They're so teeny. This is what the little peppermint frog looks like. Mmm. That is really good. That is very pepperminty. So if you're a peppermint fanatic... And you should get their peppermint toads because it does it does taste like peppermint bark so I'll be treasuring these throughout the next couple of months um, along with other peppermint stuff and then the very last souvenir I got at Universal Studios so my boyfriend really wanted me to experience going into the wand shop I forget what it's called um, but you have to go into the wand shop and they, because of, you know, with COVID protocols and stuff, they have you go in one at a time or one group at a time and work with a personal shopper. So you get to just talk to them about if you want to pick out a wand that's, if it's like based on a character or if you want to pick out a wand based on personality traits or kind of one that might match your personality. But I just went in and looked at the different different ones and this was the one that really really jumped out at me I thought it was absolutely beautiful the detail on it and so this is um, this is George Weasley's wand so I just think it's absolutely gorgeous and you can see the detail right there I just this was the one that was like okay that's the one with the most beautiful detail in my opinion and um, surprisingly I kind of thought that I would want Hermione's wand but it was a little on the basic side I guess compared to the other one so this is just the one that I fell in love with and thought it was gorgeous now do I need a George Weasley wand in my room no <laughs> but it's all part of the experience um, so I'm glad that I got to do that and then they sell 
the you know the ones I looked at were the non-interactive and they have some that are interactive so when you're walking around the wizarding world you can stand at different windows and different areas and do different spells and and you know make things come to life and that's really cool I think those were only about eight dollars more for those those interactive ones but I thought well I'm not really going to be doing that so I don't really need a interactive wand so but this is just so beautiful and classy and I'll have to figure out a very special place to display this in my room so those were actually all of my Universal Studios souvenirs so on to Disney <laughs> Alright, so this is my Disney souvenir bag, of course. Um, now the first thing I will show y'all is actually what I'm wearing. And I had to pick out one spirit jersey on this trip. I did that last trip. I thought that's kind of going to be my new uh, tradition when I go to Disney, getting one spirit jersey each time. Because, you know, they're, they're expensive, so if I just... That's just my spirit jersey for the year that I choose. Anyway, this was the only one that I really felt like I couldn't live without. And it's the one that I'm wearing. As you can see, it's Baby Yoda. <laughs> and this green on this Baby Yoda spirit jersey is my favorite green ever. Um, pastel green, mint green. Uh, and this, I, f I, like, I feel like this color is so great because uh, you can wear it three seasons out of four seasons of the year um it's perfect for fall and winter because it's nice and warm and cozy and also spring this is a spring green and although the green would probably be great in summertime um the spirit jersey wouldn't because it would be way too hot <laughs> but and then i'll turn around and you can just see it says Whoops, I'm trying to look to make sure it's in there. It just says the Mandalorian. Star Wars Mandalorian. But you guys, I have gotten so many compliments on this spirit jersey since my trip. I've worn it so much. I've worn it, I've slept in it because it's nice and warm. I've worn it out and about and so many people have complimented the spirit jersey. So I'm like, just got it at Disney World. <laughs> But um, I was able to wear it to my work one day when we had Halloween Spirit Day and we could wear Halloween themed sweatshirts and shirts and I was like, you know, this is the one day of the year I can wear a spirit jersey to my work. So that was really fun. Okay, so let's move on to all the other Disney souvenirs. And I have to show you this is not in that bag either, but I had to get one of these really cute Mickey pumpkin sequin purses. And I'm so bummed because I was really hoping they'd make one just like this for Christmas with peppermints. But that has not been released, so I'm really bummed. But I've still been sporting this around and so I've gotten so many compliments on this purse too. But you just got, yeah, you gotta love Mickey pumpkins made out of sequins. First of all, this is the magic band that I wore to my two Disney days. And um, my boyfriend and I, we both picked out our magic bands before going. I've always just had the, the solid color magic bands. But this one was a new release and I just fell in love with it. And it says, where dreams come true. And it's white with gold and glitter and sparkles. So this is the first uh, magic band I have with a design on it. So gotta show you, this is something I already I knew I was gonna get before I went on the trip. It's this Mickey pumpkin that says trick or treat. And I believe, I don't know if it's supposed to glow in the dark. I haven't actually noticed that, but, um, but you can turn it on and it changes color. Oh, it's so pretty. I will just love this. It's so cute. I can just stare at Mickey's face as a pumpkin turning colors all day long. So anyway, this was $24.99. It's the first price I've given on this merch. But now it's time for that to go up because all the Christmas stuff. Okay. 
The next thing I got, okay, we got I got this in the Christmas shop in Disney Springs. Um, oh no. Is that, oh no, that's, this is breaking. <laughs> Um, anyway, it's not broken yet, but I just absolutely love this ornament. Minnie and Mickey in their sleigh with their cute, um, Donald and Christmas tree and the toy soldier in the back of the sled. But it's, I just thought this was so magical that representing all of the things of Christmas. And I just, and then on this side you can see there's a little wreath. But anyway, you just gotta love Mickey and Minnie dressed up as Mr. and Mrs. Claus. I'm really bummed. I'm glad the arm is still on there, but I gotta add it to my tree now. So hopefully, hopefully it will not break. This mug that I have been really wanting to get for so long and I've only seen it. I guess, at, you know, like the Disney store is at the Disney parks. And it is the Belle mug. Here's her stack of books with her roses. And then it says, my favorite line from Beauty and the Beast. I want adventure from the great wide somewhere. So you can just see the, the beautiful gold and pink details in the, the font. I just, ugh. Oh. So beautiful and I could not live without this mug so I was so excited to finally be able to pick it up because it has been on my wish list for some of the subscription boxes that I get but I have yet to get it now I probably will get it eventually but somehow it will show up because Beauty and the Beast is my fave but then it will be okay to have two I don't Anyway, I just, I love this mug so much. Okay, the next thing I picked out is this beautiful shot glass that has Cinderella Castle on it. I just think it's gorgeous. You can't go wrong with mixing Disney and alcohol. <laughs> Maybe you could go wrong, but <laughs> anyway, I just think it's absolutely beautiful. Okay, and next, of course, I had to make a special trip to Basin, and I picked out the Mickey and with candy cane soap, the peppermint soap. So excited to start using that, and then I got this, um, gin is this, they're supposed to smell like gingerbread, but little brown Mickey Mouse heads that are like different scents of gingerbread and then <clears throat> this one is for the springtime to use in the springtime with the cute little multicolored mickey heads in there and so i think it's kind of like a floral scent but it's just it's so pretty so that will be coming out of the holidays and going into spring and then uh, I decided to collect these little, the little espresso Starbucks cups wherever my boyfriend and I go on vacation together or out of town. I thought it'd be a really cute display that all of my little espresso cups would be places we've been together. So I picked up, I already had a Hollywood Studios one from my last trip. So I went ahead and picked up the Magic Kingdom one. And oh my gosh, I just love, I love this design. But that way, like, instead of buying the huge ones everywhere I go, that would take up way more room. So to be able to hang these little espresso shot glasses on a display would be so cute. A couple of pins that I picked out, and I totally forgot to get a couple of Halloween pins that were really cute. And I got home and was like, oh, I forgot to get those, and I was going to, but I spent way more than enough on this trip. But I just got this really cute Minnie and Mickey heart. And I just thought that was so classic. Just the, the animation of them. It's very classic Minnie and Mickey. And the colors are just beautiful on this pen. They're so vibrant. And then this represents 
my boyfriend and I very well these pins from Star Wars. You've got Princess Leia and Han Solo. Yeah, Han Solo. Wow. Okay, don't. <laughs> I just want to make sure I was getting the right. Uh, anyway, the part where they say, I love you, and then he says, I know. Um, anyway, that. I'm looking around to make sure I haven't forgotten anything because I showed my spirit jersey that I'm wearing. Um, I actually did not go absolutely wild considering I was at two different theme parks. Um, <laughs> there's always, you know, always a reason to justify everything you buy. Because um, I did buy, I came home with a lot more stuff than this, but I bought some gifts for people, so that's always fun. Um, so I've already given those out. But anyway... Thank you guys so, so much for tuning into my haul, my fall haul, and I'm still working on um, editing my vlogs from the trip. I think I've, I have two or three vlogs left to post, so I'm not sure when those will go up in, you know, the timeline of this video, but I still have about two or three vlogs to edit and post. And hopefully I'll have a few Christmas, Dis Disney Christmas videos for y'all. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and leave a comment on the thing that like stuck out to you that was the neatest or the coolest. Or if maybe there's a piece of merchandise you haven't seen yet. Um, or even your opinions on Universal Studios versus Disney World Parks or Disney Parks. Because... It was just, like I said, Universal Studios definitely won for me on this trip because everything was a new experience and that's so fun to do, to, to do something that you've never done before. And, um, and, you know, my boyfriend and I just were talking and just felt like Disney was, we were extremely blessed to go, don't get me wrong, but... The people that say there's not as much magic are kind of right <laughs> because, I mean, I've seen all these vlogs about it being so, there being, there not being very many people there walking right on the rides. Well, the weekend we chose to book ended up being Columbus Day weekend. So fall break had started and they were letting more people into the parks and there's no fast passes and not as many employees, which is so sad. Um, cause there were so many different other restaurants and stands that could have been opened, but were not because they weren't fully staffed. Uh, so our, so the next vlog I have to edit is Hollywood Studios and we literally were only there till 2 p.m. I've never left a Disney park at 2 p.m. <laughs> but we, by that time we were just, we were tired cause it was so hot compared to what we, the weather we'd had here so far. Um, we had finally switched over to fall weather and then went to Orlando where it was 95 and so humid. <laughs> um, so, and then it was like an hour to two hour wait to order food from the mobile app and then go and get it. And then we didn't get the, um, the boarding passes for Rise of the Resistance. We weren't expecting to, but definitely had high hopes that maybe we could get it. And it just felt like all the lines were so long. So, anyway, I know they're doing their absolute best. And the next time we go, hopefully it will be a, a better experience. But our Magic Kingdom day was a lot better than our Hollywood Studios day. But anyway, that, all that to say is that Universal Studios just blew me out of the water. Uh, just blew me away. And I just loved experiencing everything for the first time. And the magic that comes with the wizarding world of Harry Potter and just seeing going on rides for movies that I haven't really seen as much as Disney movies so that's why everything was just such a treat and a surprise and anyway it was a wonderful trip regardless and City Walk was so fun too it was a lot um, it was a lot bigger than I expected it to be but it was um, and the Chocolate Emporium was amazing. So uh, just the outside of that building, that was probably the highlight of City Walk. And then 
I'd say my favorite ride at Universal Studios was definitely Green Gots. We rode that every day that we went, think of that, which was four days. We rode it each day. It was so fun. Um, anyway, go ahead and let me know your opinions, Universal Studios versus Disney Parks. Uh, I'm really curious to hear y'all's input and opinions and maybe the your favorite piece of merch from this video. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this video is able to sprinkle a little bit of pixie dust on your day or your week and have a magical day.